Welcome to Crawdaddy's Custom Crankbaits. I've been asked, how did I get this bait? And with the ghost looking scales on the side of it. Um, so I'm fixing to do this bait just real quick, how I did it, the colors I did, and it's gonna look different than this bait, but this is how I done this bait. Uh, I've had a lot of requests on how did I do it. So this is what I've done. I put a base coat of white down, put a base coat of pearl silver, um, just Cretex pearl silver. I come back with Alclad gold. You wanna use the Alclad gold is not real bright. Um, so I just put me a base coat of Alclad gold down there. When you put it on the white, it tones that gold down some, and that's one of the keys is you don't want a real stark gold. Um, next, all I did is just took some candy red, straight out of the bottle, not mixing it, not letting it sit, not doing anything. Just take it straight out of the bottle. Just putting a couple drops in there, don't need a whole lot. I'm just going to lay it across that back, building up real light. Letting it fade down over that gold. And, and this step is on how bright you want it. I mean, I could go darker. Um, uh, it, 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 that is all entirely up to you, but this is how I, I got uh, achieved that bait. This one here, I might go a little bit darker down the back with the red. Like I said, the more you build up, the darker that red's gonna be. The key is letting that gold kind of fade through a little bit. I'm gonna clean that out of my airbrush. Got my netting. All I'm gonna do now is take Alclad aluminum. This is a lacquer base paint. Fit me a little bit in a bottle or in my airbrush. This is the old Alclad and this is the new Alclad. Um, if I can find more of this, I'm gonna buy that, not this. This, I've never had no trouble dipping in KBS, hurting the paint. This, everyone I've used so far, you've got to seal it with their sealer. If not, you're going to get a funky result. I did a bait using that, and it's like the metal pulled away from the bait. But if I can find any more of the old style Alclad, I'm going to buy it. But anyway, I just got a little bit of Alclad aluminum in my airbrush. Lay my netting over. Put that out flat down on that white. And then when you take it off, it's going to give you a, a ghost effect scales. You see that shininess over the white. Turn it over. I don't know 
if you can see it, but when you turn, you look at it, it's like you don't see it. But then when you turn it a certain way, you can see those scales on that white and it kind of gives you a ghost looking scale. Um, this in here, I didn't come down on there on the white, which I should have, I don't know what I was thinking. Never will match this back up. But as long as I can get kind of close, I'm gonna just put some down on the bottom. But that's how I did this scheme. It's, it's the same thing, that red. I went here a little darker than I did here. This has more of the gold showing through it. So that's what I said. I want to do this in a little bit different than this. And I just basically put a little bit more red on top of this, but you can use blues, whatever color you want to do, uh, to achieve this effect, to debate to, to get this effect, you got to have the gold underneath it and put light coat, light coats on it. When you dip it, it's going to change this totally. It's going to look totally different. Um, Get this out of my airbrush. I'm gonna dump it back in the bottle. Now if I want more of the red to come down more from the top, I'm just going to come back. When you got this narrow bait compared to this wide bait, just has more body to it than this does. So you really have to be careful. Um, but if I want to come back now and actually take a little bit more candy, I'll just put a drop in there because I just want to enhance this side a little bit of the red. Because all I want to do is just enhance that red to the side a little bit. Didn't take much, not even a drop. drop of black in there, black ink. And darken that nose. And this here's another step. If you want it black, you can paint it black. If you want to leave it red and silver, you can. Me, it just gives a little bit more contrast to it. I'm trying to go a little fast so not to make this a long video. Just gonna come in here and put me a shad dot. But that is it, that, that's how I achieve that red. Like I said, I went a little darker on this red than I did this. This has more of the gold showing through, this is more of the red. But once I dip this, it's gonna brighten that up a whole lot more than you realize. So you have to just play with this base color on how much of that red that you put over that gold to get that gold to come through on what tone you want. But that's how I did that bait, um, plain and simple. I uh, hope this helps all. Uh, got any questions, PM me. Send me a private message. Just got off the phone with a guy named Lee. Um, 
asked him about this bait. So I told him I was going to do a little quick bait or a video on this bait and how you do it. Uh, all I'm going to do is off the camera, come back is put my eyes on there, but that is it. Plain and simple. I hope this helped y'all and hope y'all enjoyed it. Thanks for watching Crawdaddy's. We'll be seeing you next time.